You're listening to Commit Watch with Stephen Willis and Corey Burton. Welcome to Commit Watch. We're going to go step by step through Ole Miss's commits. We're going to break them down and we're going to tell you what they do well and what they don't do well. Um, today, in this video is Adonai Mitchell. He's a wide receiver out of my neck of the woods here at Cane Ridge High School in Antioch, Tennessee. I'm here with Corey Burton, the offensive coordinator at Hillwood High School. That's also his neck of the woods. Mm-hmm. Um, He's going to break it down for us. Hey, Corey, how you doing? I'm great. I'm great. How are you doing, Steve? Man, I'm just peachy. Um, Hanging in there, man. But two four-star commitments over the span of about seven days will do that for you. Yeah, there you go. Now you know what it's like to be a Georgia fan. Um, (laughs) uh, So, uh, Don A. Mitchell, right? Cane Ridge High School. Uh, I remember in one episode you kind of surprised me on him. Uh, He didn't play against us. We played against him in the Jamboree. Um, at Hillwood uh, it was like one of those like preseason hey it's metro football come enjoy and you know it's you play a half of football and it's kind of like you know slow paced and you can't really do anything so uh, most of, like if Kane any of Kane Ridge's guys had like a hangnail they held them out from that game because I think they were playing uh, I think they were playing Hillsboro or Pearl Cone uh, the next week uh, in one of those like kickoff classics at TSU or something like that. I think they had a huge game that next week. So they held a lot of their guys out. Um, they have a guy that uh, they had a defensive end. They held out. I'm thankful that they held him out. Uh, he, he signed with Duke. So he's going to play for coach cut for you Ole Miss fans. But um, so Adonai Mitchell, I, I said all of that to get to Adonai Mitchell. Um, when you watch him on film, uh, there's a lot of things that really jump out. Um, his size, his length, his wingspan um, is something that that jumps out at me because he's so good at high pointing the ball and catching the ball in traffic um, that that wingspan really shows on film. Just watch some of the jump balls that he got in the end zone um, dur- throughout the course of the season. Um, he's not a big home run threat, although he ca- he can kind of get in space and just kind of get there but he's not going to wow you with his speed and he's certainly not going to be a slot receiver at Ole Miss he kind of fits the bill of what an outside receiver in Lane Kiffin's offense is that big long catch and traffic jump ball guy Um, he's he's not a possession guy that they have right now but he's looking for somebody that can um, you're in the red zone and you need to just throw it up the back pylon and have somebody just reach up and go grab it that's going to be a Donnie Mitchell um, he, he's really good at that. Now, when it comes to like advanced route running, I don't see it yet, but that's not something that you should be concerned about because with coaching, training, things like that, you can get that pretty good. And I think he has a good understanding of the game. It's just, you know, at Cane Ridge, they can do some things that other places can't. And it doesn't really, you know, when you play at a place like Cane Ridge and, and sometimes you play playing games that it doesn't, like you don't have to be precise if you can out-athlete everybody. And, and that's just something that, you know, a lot of, a lot of high school, not just him, it's not unique to Donnie Mitchell, a lot of high school prospects fit into this category because they're so athletically gifted that they don't need the precision stuff of route running to get themselves open. They can just get open or they can just run a curl and body you out, catch it, shed you and go score. Um, so I don't know how his speed is going to translate to the next level. He can run. So don't get me wrong on that. I'm not saying, I'm not saying he's slow by any stretch, but it, it's just gonna it's just gonna be interesting to see how how his game translates to Ole Miss. But I know one thing: he's gonna go catch a ball in traffic. He's gonna go high point it, and he's got big old mitts for hands. And he does a good job of attacking it while it's in the air. And he's and he can uh, he can definitely hit a home run in those regards as far as jump balls go and, and reds. He could be a great red zone target. Yeah, his catch radius is pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. That's that's the fancy word that I was looking for, catch radius. Um, but uh, if, if you live in the Middle Tennessee area and you want to see really good Metro football, um, you know, Cane Ridge is somewhere I, I would I would suggest you go watch. They are a fun team to watch. Watching them on film, um, they're they're a fun team to follow because they just they're to get they're, they're a good team. They have a lot of great athletes, and they play well together. So they're, they're a lot of fun to watch. They're, it's a great program um, that is uh, run by Eddie Woods. But I'll tell you, a program to watch out for if you're in the Middle Tennessee area, especially the Nashville area, the Hillwood Hilltoppers. 
Um, <laughs> they, uh, you know, we, we're going to be, you know, we have a lot of experience coming back and we're going to be, we're going to be just as exciting. We're going to be, there's a lot of concepts that we, that we're going to put in uh, and we're going to be exciting. We had a great quarterback coming in um, named Cameron Davis, and he's going to be, he might be on Ole Miss's radar pretty soon. So we might be breaking him down if he commits, which would be, which would be phenomenal actually. So um, there you go. Adani Mitchell. Okay. Um, that was commitment watch. Um, I am your host, Stephen Willis. That's Corey Burton. Follow us on Twitter at Coach Burton 36, at the Stephen Willis, at Old Positively. We're on all the podcatchers, and please, please, please subscribe and follow us on YouTube. Um, tune in a little bit later. Our next video, we got Braylon Brown is already committed. We're going to do him in just a second. That was um, yeah. So this, things are starting to heat up a little bit in Ole Miss football. <laughs>